I wanted to view something to you guys today. Hands down, in my opinion, the best antenna analyzer on the market, bar none. You know, you got a couple different things on the market. You've got, you got the MFJ, which as we all know stands for mother effing junk, <clears throat> which is just a very basic grid dip meter. And then you've got a whole nother animal, which is the AA600. And I'm here to tell you that that is a great meter. It's very powerful. This is a completely different monster. This is a spectrum analyzer, an oscilloscope, a waveform analyzer, an OTDR, and an antenna analyzer. They're selling this as a, mar as a network analyzer, but I'm here to tell you this is the most powerful tool that you'll ever buy for your shop, bar none, hands down, ever. It's also a signal generator. It's also a carrier generator. It does a lot of different things. We're just going to talk about it for what it's sellable to the ham community at the moment. Let's see what mode are we in at the moment. We're going to start out in what is called S11. We're going to look at VSSWR. Now we're going into a 50 ohm dummy load. And we're not going to variate away from that. Hands down, the most powerful tool you'll ever buy if you're ever into building, designing, or working with antennas, or network matching systems, or antenna systems, or impedance networks, ever. I'm here to tell you. You know how they say I was blind, but once now I can see. Well, I can see now, and I'm here to tell you this thing is amazing. So, of course, it's got a fully backlit touch display. We're going to bring that in a little bit. Now, what we've done is we've, by hitting the amp button, it brings in your field of view. It comes from an SWR of 10. Now, you can set your span from whatever you want to whatever you want, and then you're going to set your center. Right now, I've got it centered for the bowl, 27.025. We're going to bring that on down. So, you can bring your amplification all the way down where it starts at 1.2 and it ends at 1.0. Now, we're into a 50 ohm load. It gives you two different plot patterns. And totally dictating by how fast you spin the wheel on top. Do a fast little jump, we can zip it all the way across the screen. It'll give you all your relative information of where you're at for each one of your marker points. You have two marker points. You can change your step angle, you can change everything. This is the most flexible meter I've ever seen, and it's real time. We're going to tell it to run now. So it's going to go into analyzing mode. And this thing is actually reading real time. See that? So you don't have to take a shot. Okay, take a shot and it goes like on the AA600s. Or on the more advanced versions of the MFJs. Well, the new MFJ meter they want about $400 less than what this meter is. But this is about 15 times the meter easily. Now we're going to change how we look at things. Look at our phase angle. And we're going to go here and we're going to hit this button. We're going to look at our return loss. Hit this button. We're going to Smith chart my dummy load. Look at that. Actual Smith chart, real time, flexibility in your hand. Imagine that. Be up there on your beam and you're working on it and you want to change damn near anything. And you can look at it instantly. You can see what the overall effect is too. And let's see, we're going to do an impedance measurement. This is starting at 100 ohms and ending at zero. Of course, you can change that top bar and the bottom bar. And you can change all your axes, your Z, your R, and your X. All on fly. You can save it to your memory. You can take pictures of what you've got coming back. And then you can make a reference to it from marker one to marker two. Over time, you can tell it to hold and stop and pause it. Or go back to real runtime mode. That's just the small portions of what this thing does. We're going to hit our mode button. We're going to go to time to default. And right now I do believe we are in our delay. Here's distance times default. Now how this works out is you can hook this into your coax and you can look at every single connection, jumper, and fitting all the way out to your antenna. And then see what your antenna is doing. 
and see its impedance bump, its signal and time loss, and distance. Here's time to default in a VS SWR format. I'm telling you guys, this is the most powerful tool I've ever come across. Now this was started by a young little startup company out of Hong Kong that I discovered by watching a Russian video here about three, four months ago. And I seen this meter and I went, what is that? Well, that, me that video came out uh, eight months ago and they're already on their fifth version from that. They're constantly, constantly working to make this unit better. Constantly. And as soon as they come up with a new version, they dump the old line, boom, and the only one that's available is their newest one that they have under the market. DSpace is the name of the company, by the way. I'm here to tell you. Let's see, where were we at? I was showing you all the different modes for this thing. So let's see, we covered antenna analyzer, time to default. Now we're going to go into S21. This is your signal loss, low mode, recall, high mode, and then your hold. And now how this comes into play is when you're generating the signal and you're looking at a circuit in reverse, or actually forward to back. So you can generate, emulate your own load, put it into a circuit, and look at how it gets spit out on the other end, and you can measure all your loss points in between. Pretty freaking cool. This is my personal favy. It's a spectrum analyzer, guys. And you can dial it in from anything you want. From 100 kilohertz all the way out to 3 gigahertz plus. I'm telling you. you got low mode and amplify. Let's see, are we on run? We're running live at the moment. So it's sitting there looking. Constantly looking. Constantly looking. This is your attenuation pad. You got plus 20, 0, negative 20, negative 40. And of course, you can exit out of that. You can also set up its own internal calibration. Now, that setting makes me a little leery. But if you wanted to add an attenuator in between your generation port, let's look at that, between your generation port for your antenna and your uh, return port for your analyzation, you could. So you could actually tamp this down even more. But that calibration mode can get you in a lot of trouble. Make sure to read the manual. We're going to page down to our second layer of options. Now this is your field strength meter. Okay, This is where you can also have it run as a frequency counter. But you got antenna gain, you can calculate all that in. Just amazing. It's just amazing. Page down again. Now you can generate your own RF source with your own deviation cycles if you want. You can dial up your attenuation, the frequency that you want it in, the milliseconds, and then you can inject modulation into the signal. It's not picking that up too well. The main reason I fell in love with this is because the graphic interface display. It's absolutely beautiful and seamless. A page down, and then your AF source. So you've got it on the other side. Now what I keep talking about because there's three ports on the top of this thing. Look at how elegant and sleek this package is. That does come with the uh, N-type connectors on top, and you have to get the adapters to make it so it goes to a PL259. I have offered to them the idea that they might want to offer this in a version, but they said because the N-connector is so much more accurate that they're not interested in doing it into a PL259. So I just got the simple adapters off eBay. It's no big deal to fit everything that we use in the amateur radio world and in the ant building world outside of the commercial industry. That's why I, you know, the PL259. Boys and girls, I'm here to tell you, I'm their first US customer. And I told them that I'd shoot them a little video helping them kind of get segued into the United States market. This thing is so straightforward, you'll figure it out in five minutes flat. You guys know all my test equipment that I've got over here. My Fluke, my Tektronics, and my Syncor. All that stuff, a couple thousand dollars. This unit, 1300 
and you can hold it in your hand. You can put it in your jacket and you'll walk away with it. This is basically an IFR that you can hold in your hand. Food for thought. I'll see ya. Bye. It's a KC 901S. I also want to talk about something else real quick before I take off. You know, I get really leery when I go to order stuff from China. You don't know what you're going to get. And you don't know what kind of company you're going to get. These guys are stand up. I'm here to tell you, I personally am just impressed. Um, Jade is my number one contact over there. And she is bad to the bone. Um, I've had lots of correspondence with her, and these guys have been nothing but supportive and helpful. This thing is so expandable. It's got all the different port inputs on the side so you can do firmware in three different formats to be able to get it onto the device. They're constantly giving out firmware updates through their page. This is an insane tool. There's other network analyzers that are out there but they're more geared towards more networking or calm data communication loss. This is the closest and best advanced step forward since like taking a knife and figuring out how to slice bread. I'm telling you. The MFJ is toast. There's a, other, there are a bunch of other companies, none of them can come close to offering all the different things that are in the package that these guys offer. I'm telling you, check them out. It's the KC901. I'm going to put a link to uh, Dispace's webpage down in the, in, the, in, the, in the notes below. But I'm telling you guys, you get an opportunity to go check them out. Um, got a little bit of money laying around and you really want to know what's going on with your antenna, your coax delivery system, anything in your station, this is the way to go. Amazing, amazing tool. Little startup company out of China. And uh, these guys have absolutely blown my socks off. Boys and girls, I don't get to be here and I don't get to play with this kind of technology without your all support. I don't. But this is the standard to which I try to achieve constantly out there moving around on the internet i'm constantly looking for the newest and latest and greatest and best thing that's the reason that we're so far out in front of all the other building companies that are in the market we were the first to a lot of different things and were well the first to offer commercially a lot of different things that the other companies don't have because we are not stuck in a rut over here but i don't get to be here without all of you guys i don't get to do this fun stuff without all of you jade I hope you guys get a bunch of sales out of the United States because you guys deserve it. You've come up with a beautiful, 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 beautiful device. The other thing I want to mention is this is one of the most professionally packed things I've ever seen in my life. And they don't screw around. They're like next day air, dude. You order this thing, if they have it in stock, you have it in two days from China. But you don't even want to think about how much that costs. That's the way these guys work. I'm out of here. You guys have fun. My name is BBI. Without a shadow of a doubt, I am the biggest mud duck in Idaho. Come check us out, www.bbiamps.com. And I will put a link for my webpage to their page to help you guys find it even better. 
I'll see you. Bye.